welcome to part five of the build your own trading strategy um, we've been through uh, the technical analysis we've been through picking a market we've been through um, 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 understanding different time frames and uh, the characteristics of, of a certain market you, you're willing to trade um, all that being said uh, part five um, just after the, the fourth part where we talked about technical analysis of course indicators is something that is talked about a lot uh, in, in trading uh, for sure um, but you know uh, I have a certain opinion about it but I'm, I'm gonna I'm, it's not it's not up to me let me let me take you through the process of uh, of, of using indicators on how I think indicators are uh, can help you or, or they can't help you just hit really quick uh, moving averages uh, this is a picture of a uh, relative strength index you have the the MACD uh, you have all kinds of you have you, you literally have one hundreds or thousands of indicators um, you also have a lot of online um, opportunities or, or, or uh, things people offer uh, for the magical indicator that is gonna uh, make you a lot of money well I, I can tell you this there is no indicator in the world that does that there is no indicator in the world that does that okay so let me get that out of the way from the beginning an indicator is something that is that fits your trading strategy uh, and can be used as an additional tool to make certain um, certain decisions but it, don't ever 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 spend money on the magical indicator because that is not not even how indicators work so let me let me switch to the charts here for a minute let me show you uh, some kind of ways you can use a, uh, a moving uh, average or some kind of indicator so here we are this is the chart of the Nasdaq uh, doesn't matter of course what chart you use it's always up to uh, to to uh, the the uh, what you want to trade we talked about it earlier on in these lessons so if you trade forex you trade forex if you trade futures you trade futures that that doesn't matter it's just a chart for for now um, so what we're seeing here is is something this is the RSI it's called the relative strength index the way you can use this is to uh, you know this was a strong bullish phase and the way you can look at it is like is is what I'm seeing is that correct yes the strength of the market it's, it's there it's going up um, sometimes there are strategies that talk about that markets could can be oversold or overbought uh, this would be something that that you know came out of the range and this would classify as a overbought area um, I see a lot where people talk about it's overbought hit the sell button well I think sometimes you're right but overall that's not a strategy it's just something you can read of an indicator. An indicator calculates momentum in this case, or it calculates uh, direction uh, based on, on past price action. So it's not gonna tell you what's going to happen in the future. Um, this was an oversold area, and yes, the market took a breather. The market <coughs> tanked here. Um, and this is what we're looking at right now. So momentum is one thing uh, you can use this, but there's another way you can use it, and it is called divergence. Um, and let me see if we can get something about that on the chart here um, yeah what you kind of see is that that momentum over here was uh, was in an over overbought area actually but it was high the market kept making those highs but the relative strength index didn't show that anymore it's, and that's something that's called divergence um, and, and that could be an early signal that price is likely to uh, to reverse keep in mind it's never just just you know I spot divergence boom I go in the market it's it, you you need the whole strategy the whole technical analysis part we talked about earlier uh, to really give you that entry signal now this is the daily chart where we can spot uh, divergence probably as well again this was the high let's assume this is going to form a a high it, it can also continue but for now this could be a a high we are seeing that the relative strength index is not showing uh, momentum uh, anymore so this is this is getting a bit a little bit weaker and therefore we could uh, could see price uh, dropping this is this is not complete yet so don't uh, don't take too much information out of this but when we look in the past this was a high this was a high again and here we turned flat and this was a low but this was a high this was a high as well we didn't turn flat this was another high 
uh, definitely not a low so here we saw that the the momentum of the market we saw divergence because the relative strength index was not in line anymore with what we were seeing on the uh, on the on the price action chart so from a technical analysis perspective things looked different so that being said we knew that, that this was the recent high from from a couple of weeks ago now we just just without too much uh, confirmation too much too much uh, strength we, we we were at those new at those highs again and and suddenly slowly we saw a market top forming and then we saw the sell-off going to the lower side of this channel so this is just something price action that's what you look at and as well you look at this relative strength index to get some uh, some some view on uh, is what I'm seeing is that correct now there's there are more things you can can do here um, indicators here so let me just put on a moving average for example there are there are different moving averages as well so that's kind of uh, kind of you have to play around with that as well this is the nine 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 period but let's let's pick ourselves a 50 day 50 uh, moving average okay okay well uh, is, it doesn't doesn't um, happen like that always but here we have in the past uh, when once the market started trending this 50 day moving average was a lot of times was some kind of a I always say a a, a, a liquid uh, trend line because it's, it moves it moves with the market a little bit and then finally here it got broken we, we, we did in fact stop the trending phase we start consolidating and once we, we, we really started moving above that 15 day moving average again it, it acted as a supportive uh, line again um, and then finally when we broke out we were in this phase over here where we consolidated a little bit and then we, we broke back up and now here we are in the middle of this whole 50 uh, period moving average um, I can put on a 200 day moving average I can put on a um, 20 day moving average I can also put on 50 20 and 200 periods moving averages and there are certain strategies when when the lines cross uh, that would be a shift for example if the 50 day so the slower moving average crosses the faster moving average or vice versa that could be a shift in direction shift in trend etc etc but it's always based on past price action so keep that in mind that it's always you know something uh, you can use moving average and a relative strength or a MACD as well and if you see divergence and you see the crosses of the moving averages or whatever it is uh, that is happening it, it, it could could mean that uh, it is offering you a, uh, a signal or information to get into that trade so um, to sum it all up you have technical analysis you know what you're trading you know the time frames you're looking at and you, ha you should have a certain checklist like what's the trend direction am I trading with the trend what is price action telling me on the daily or the four-hour chart whatever you're trading um, do I see a break of a trend line do I see and then now it's now it's the, in the term for the indicators do I see a break of a certain uh, like like we see over here do we see a break of a certain moving average what is the RSI telling me is momentum indeed uh, slowing down to the upside and are we turning and are we going to the downside so those are all things you can add me personally I do not use indicators a lot um, sometimes I add one single indicator but most of the time it's just to me it's price action telling me what's going on and then it's not you know it's the indicator that is uh, sometimes uh, taking me out of a trade um, or taking me too long to get in because the indicator isn't showing me uh, what I see on price action and then I miss the trade so I'm not a huge fan of indicators but I wanna it, it definitely can help you in your trading strategy uh, so don't get me wrong make, make, a, make a good consideration on what you want to use um, but never never ever spend money on indicators that are <laughs> The, the holy grail that's that's not the way indicators are used so I hope I explained that with a proper strategy technical analysis proper risk management etc indicators do have a place in your strategy but it's never the indicator on its own let, let me get let me get back to that in, um, in a minute so what you should consider um, what indicator are you willing to use do you want to use the relative strength or the MACD do you want to, to use a um, Ichimoku cloud for example or do you want to use moving averages what time frames do you want to use so that's you know pick pick your pick your 
uh, indicator and that's that's what you're going to use that's that's what's going to be in your in your strategy another one um, what uh, do you want from the indicator do you want to spot divergence using the RSI or do you want to spot the momentum in the market so is it going to show you that the trend that's going up is in fact going up when you look at the uh, RSI or are you using it the opposite way around and are you looking for divergence so are you seeing a trend that's moving up but is the RSI showing you that momentum is slowing and it's probably gonna reverse those are all things you need to consider okay um, so how are you gonna use this actually the question do you want to use one or more indicators yes of course of course do you want to trade um, the 20 day moving average 20 period or the 20 in combination with the 50 or maybe also with the 200 or do you want to use the 50 day moving average 50 period sorry moving average uh, in combination with the RSI and the MACD it's, it's all possible if you use something like the Ichimoku cloud uh, that that has a lot of indicators in it already so that means you're not you're, you're gonna use a couple and not one so make that consideration um, and are you uh, and are they supporting your decision making yes if you spot reversals if that is what you're looking for in a market a divergence on the RSI is something that could help you in making the right decision if you are using a moving average in the 20 day but you're trading the daily chart and you're looking for reversals is it going to help you or or does the 20 day mo 20 period moving average get penetrated that often that you make the wrong decisions every time so you, you need to make sure that it is it has the right place and the right setting in, in the thing you're looking for in the market does the indicator add value to your trading strategy yes if you have something in place that's working for you and you're gonna add the example I just I just mentioned if you're gonna add a moving average and you say you know my checklist is all green but that moving average is still in place it, it hasn't been broken yet but price is so far off uh, I, I, my risk reward becomes a little bit off does 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 it add value in that case maybe maybe it just is just something if you don't use it, you get into the trades at, at, at a better timing so and sometimes it does sometimes it don't but you have to test that and you have to make sure you know what uh, what the reason is you're, you're you're using the indicator then does the indicator fit oh sorry does the indicator fit the time frame you are using um, 20 day moving averages 50 200 Believe me, when you're looking at a weekly chart and price is approaching the 200 day moving average, that is not going to penetrate that level once, all in once. It's definitely going to bounce and it's going to reverse and it's going to correct and it's going to consolidate. You know, um, that is something you, you should understand. If you use the 200 day or the 50 or the 20 on a 5 minute chart, it's a totally different picture. Just like support and resistance and levels, they get broken easily more easily than on a bigger time frame so make sure you understand what indicator you're putting in on what time frame and now finally I really really want to emphasize this you can use indicators yes you can but an indicator on itself is never a trading strategy I talk to a lot of people on Instagram and I talk to a lot of people that email me or sometimes they comment on my YouTube channel and when I ask them, okay, can you tell me uh, what your what your trading strategy is? And they sometimes they say, oh yeah, of course, I trade the MACD. Okay, well then I know these people have a lot to learn because they don't have a clue what they're doing. You don't trade the MACD. If I ask you what your trading strategy is, I should get a 30-page uh, file with everything that fits your trading strategy and on page for example 7 I can see that you're using a or a couple indicators that are supporting your trading strategy that is what an indicator is you don't trade the RSI you don't trade the MACD and you don't trade moving averages that's that's something you use in your stra strategy and that's the whole thing uh, uh, when when people say buy the magical indicator and you're gonna make money easy it's not it's not it's not gonna be the case so indicators are always a part of a trading strategy and they are never a trading strategy on their own okay well thanks for watching I hope I made it clear how to use indicators it's it's definitely something uh, to consider in the trading strategy but make sure you understand why hot how what and where to use it so thanks for watching see you in the next one